In this video, we will go over an alternative way to measure horizontal distances with taping. We will need steel tape, a tape clamp handle, a plumb bob, a hand level, nails, and of course, your two surveyors. Begin at the point of higher elevation and unwind the steel tape, walking towards the end point. You may stop once the point at the other end is within the area of the tape that measures the tenth of a foot. Then, at the starting point, use the tape clamp handle to hold the tape to the nearest whole foot. Make note of this value. The surveyor at the point of higher elevation holds the tape to the ground. To ensure that the tape is level, the surveyor at the end point uses the hand level and looks in the direction of the starting point while standing upright. Then, estimating the vertical distance between the line of sight through the hand level and the starting point on the ground, adjust the vertical distance between your eyes and the tape to match the estimated distance. Next, pull on the tape with 10 to 15 pounds of force, like you're carrying a backpack, and hold the plumb bob over the tape to record the measurement. This number tells you how much you have to add to the whole foot. The sum of these two values is your horizontal distance. If the distance you are measuring is longer than the steel tape, or if the elevation change is too large between the two points, you will have to divide the distance into smaller segments in a process called break chaining. Follow the same procedure as before with temporary endpoints and starting points. Take the sum of the measured distances to get the final horizontal distance. Keep in mind that if the distance is too long, or if there are extreme weather conditions, adjustments to your measurement will have to be applied. Thanks for watching! To learn more about taping and other surveying techniques, come to our surveying workdays.